Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's continue with our playlist of Windows Forms. In this video, we are going to create a we're going to create a simple clock app using C Sharp. So let's get started by creating a solution. I'm going to call it uh, Simple Simple Watch. Okay. Let's create an application which will show us the time. It's going to be very simple, but it's actually to be very I think this will be very useful uh, to help us understand the basics of an application even more and how to use uh, some of the most simple tools, but that it actually very powerful. Uh, let's start by uh, designing our app. Okay, the design is going to be pretty simple actually, and we're just gonna go with the most basic. Uh, interface that is possible but if you guys want to see more I'm gonna actually have to change this and I'm actually I'm actually thinking about making an update to this playlist uh, with more design so uh, let's just add a simple component simple very simple so we, we want to display the time so let's just use a label okay uh, I need to increase the phone quite a lot. Quite a lot. Um, let's see, thirty-six. I think it's good. Still small though. I'm gonna go with forty-eight. Yeah. It's oh no. I'm gonna go with seventy-two. Actually, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna change the text to something that would be very similar to the uh, to the the goal which is the time so let's say 14 uh, p.m. and 36 minutes and and then um, 56 seconds so this would be the time okay this would be the time I'm just gonna go with a right here so this is our current uh, UI I'm not going to do much here because I want to, I want, I want this to be as simple as possible. So this would be our interface. So of course we can change the the color, the UI quite a lot, but this is not important here because you guys can do that very very easily. Uh, so let's go to the main. Uh, let's run the the let's double click to get the source code. Uh, we're gonna need to use a tool to kind of manipulate time. In this case, we're gonna use a timer. Okay, uh, timer is quite a useful feature in C Sharp. Uh, I'm showing the swarms. Let's use a timer. So this is our timer. If you double click, uh, double clicking, we're gonna get this method. So this method called tick occurs every time. A ticking operation is called, or a delegate, it's called. Okay, so if you go to properties, you guys can see here we got some uh, information here. So the first thing is enabled, which it is it's set to false, which means that this is not going to do anything. Okay, uh, we got the interval and we got some tags here. So uh, let's just talk about how we get time in .NET. Or in C sharp to get time is quite simple. Uh, let's double click here. We're gonna assign. Let's assign the time as being equal to text dot. Uh, I think when I crash the application, wait. Well, let's just do this dot text equals day time. Let me see here. Uh, the time dot now, right? Okay. Yeah. The time dot now. Uh, date time, date, date time, dot now, dot to a string. Let's do this. I think we might crash our main form, so you guys can see here. But it was called just once though. So when I run, when I ran this, I got the time, as you guys can see here. Got the date, the time, and the second. So this was the exactly time when the main form was called. Okay. So this is how you can get the time. I can get specific here. 
let's say I just want to get the year I could do why 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 okay if I do this I'm just gonna get the year let's run so you guys can see uh, 2019 or 2019 so now we know how to get time to, to get the time uh, let's go back here uh, so you guys should okay let's go back here so we got this label and uh, let's assign the text of this label as being equal to time so this dot label one dot text is going to be equal to daytime dot now dot to string and let's say I just want to get the hour hour and minutes okay so this is the format we use to get it the uh, the the hour and the minute let's execute and we don't see anything special here but that's because the timer is not enabled so let's enable the timer let's enable it and now we should see the time doing just as fine so you guys can see uh, we got this but we don't see the second so uh, we don't know for sure if the time is ticking though let's go back here let's add the seconds and there we go let's run now you guys can see that we've we've, we've created a simple clock or a simple watch in C sharp uh, there are lots of ways in which we could change this uh, I recommend you guys to to quite change the interface uh, of course the application the core of the application is not going to change that much now let's just change this a little bit let's say I wanna I wanna change the background I wanna a let's select another little back color I want a black uh, back color I wanna uh, the label text at the back color of the the I wanna this way I wanna black and white so you guys can see here I can change the the, the window that's not uh, good let's just do some trickery here to make this a fixed length Let's go to minimum size, maximum size, and minimum size, maximum size and minimum size. Let's just uh, copy this, copy and paste. Uh, now I cannot increase this font anymore. So it's a fixed length. Okay. So you guys can see we can change this a lot, quite a lot yet. Let's go to the four color. Four color. Or color when I a let's see bluish uh, color uh, as you guys can see here it's, it's not that good looking let's change the back color of the here back color <coughs> of the the main form let's go to a there's many ways you guys could try this yeah it's looking but quite nice now yeah I could do something like changing the the color though I'm gonna go I'm showing you guys how to do that in a second let me just think about this because I, I do my videos on on the flow let's go here let's do I'm gonna do random let's create a random object here Private random R and D equals new random. Let's do uh, uh, int R equals uh, R D and dots dot random next. So this would get a uh, a R color red color R G color. Let's go to this interval and a B color. So 
what I'm gonna do here is basically get a color. So let's create a color, color, uh, color, color equals um, um, color but from RGB. So you guys can see some of the overrides. Let's pass RGB. So we got our colors. Let's just change these dots. Uh, label uh, one dot um, color back color for color equals color color. Okay, I think we're done now. <laughs> Let's execute to see if we got something. So you guys can see it's working. Uh, and something very strange is happening. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's quite nice. Let's say I, I want to eat red fixed. Let's just you know, go with the red red fixed though. The change the color. Red. Okay, I got some different colors here. I'm gonna pass the red itself. Itself. I can, I could choose which channel, which RGB channel to to change the color. I'm gonna go with the with a white background. Silver is quite nice, but light gray I think is better. Let's go back here. So you guys can see it's changing the 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 color. I could do the the yeah it's quite nice. Let's go to the timer and set the interval to half a second. So this is in milliseconds. So 500 equals a half a second. The update, update time. So now it's updating uh, quite... Uh, yeah, it's quite good, I think. It's nice. We could do something here, like I wanna, let's say I wanna see the seconds, I wanna see the seconds quite, uh, I wanna see the seconds here, let's just add another label, yeah I'm gonna go with the font size, um, 36, okay I'm gonna go with, I need to change the for color, for color to a okay. Now let's change the text. It's going to be the seconds. I need to change the back color <coughs> to a white. Uh, active butter, no, no. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, let me see here. Okay. Let's go back here. Now, I don't want to assign the seconds on the this. I want to go with this on label to the text equals day time. <coughs> Day time, day time, day time. Dot now dot to string. Let's get the seconds. Let's execute. Okay, we got this. I want to assign the same color to the label too. Let's just copy and paste this. So we're gonna see something like that. So. Okay, let's see. Okay, now we got something that's quite quite interesting. If you guys okay, and we need to append a uh, two dots here to get the full thing. Okay, need to add this to get a nice looking uh, interface. Okay, so you guys can see it's pretty awesome. It's quite pretty I think uh, it's quite interesting so this was the video guys I hope you enjoy and if you guys have any 
questions about this, I'm going to definitely answer. Uh, also, um, if you guys have any tips on how to kind of, which, which things that you guys are interested in, I should, I would like to know that. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this. Hey guys, next time.